Welcome everyone. In today's video, I will share with you why I shut down my driver recruitment agency. I'm proud to say that we ran one of the most successful truck driver recruitment agency in North America. We were able and fortunate to work with some of the largest, most reputable and all different kinds of trucking businesses from trucking companies hauling flatbed all the way to trucking companies hauling pneumatic bulk or wind turbine components with 18 to 32 axle trailers and anything and everything in between in almost every single province of Canada and every single state of the United States. There's a lot that we learned and found out in this journey. And I'll go into all the details about what kind of agency we ran, how did we find drivers, what are we doing today? And if you're somebody who's looking to start a driver recruitment agency, what are the pros and what are the cons? And if you're a trucking business, why a driver recruitment agency cannot really help you find drivers to the degree you would like to see to grow your fleet or to seat your trucks or whatever your goals may be. Where I started was as an outside recruiter. I thought if I could talk to drivers and place them at a trucking company, game over, it's solved. Problem with that is any great driver wants to talk to the trucking company directly. They do not want to go through a third party recruiter or anything like that because they want to know who is the trucking company they're going to be employed at, what kind of trucks they run, what do the trucks look like, what is the culture like, have they heard any good things about them, bad things about them. And most good drivers actually have a good sense of a lot of trucking companies. They can ask in a lot of forums, groups online, people at truck stop, other drivers that they're going to meet at truck stop. They're not going to make it based on a third party source that doesn't want to share details with them on what trucking company that they're going to go to. So a lot of these drivers that would come to me, I would tell them what trucking company they were going to go or who, who I was like talking on behalf of, but they would ask hundred different questions of like, Hey, what is the cruise set at? What is the pet policy? Are your cameras inward facing, outward facing cameras? No good Facebook ad or video or marketing or Craigslist or Indeed or ZipRecruiter is gonna make that 46 cents win. And that's not the only thing that drivers seek for. There's also equipment, the company culture, benefits, pay, how long are you out on the road for, all those things. The trucking companies were like, hey, we just want drivers, help us find drivers. And we found out that a lot of these factors are not controlled by what we can do. It's only trucking businesses that can actually fix that issue and really improve their trucking business. So it's not the marketing or it's not the video, it's not the advertising that's gonna solve that problem. The problem there is the offer. Now, let's say a trucking business does have a good offer, the marketing can help and the right kind of marketing is gonna just take it to the moon. I've been in this whole thing for over five years and in five years I feel say I'm still learning. Like every day we learn something new and the pay and the lifestyle, where you live, what state you're looking for drivers is going to be totally different, right? Because a driver living in the Southeast versus a driver living in New York, the cost of living is too different, right? And then also the pay is going to be completely different for the same kind of runs or home time, traffic, lanes, all that kind of stuff. It's very hard as an outsider to control those variables that are controlled by the trucking business itself. The other thing of that is that if you are a trucking business and we were an agency and if you got drivers and you lost them and you still got trucks open, there's issues with your retention. And as an outsider person, as an agency, you can't fix that. Only your driver managers and your recruiting or retention managers can. They're the ones who are actually influencing the lifestyle of a driver being at that company, that fleet in those trucks is going to be. So a driver recruitment agency can only fix a tiny bit of issues, not the entire way to make a successful trucking business. Now what we do is we coach trucking businesses on how to find drivers, how to recruit them and how to also retain them. The good thing with that is we're able to basically rectify where is the ball getting dropped. So it does not start with, yeah, let's start advertising and marketing. That's not where the game begins. It starts with what is your offer? What does your company look like? And can we help you from that point onwards? Do you need marketing? Do you need retention or do you need recruiting? When I say the word recruiting, I really mean like how good are your people on the phone? If you get a driver application today and you follow up with them three days later, your recruiting has a problem. If your drivers only stay with you for two weeks and then they leave, you have a retention problem. 
If you have a good recruiting and good retention, but you just don't have enough drivers coming to you, you have an attraction problem. But as a marketing agency or as a truck driver recruitment agency, we're never able to fix all three pieces, only just the front piece. And that can't solve the other two pieces at all. And that's the big reason why I shut down my own driver recruitment agency. And most of the trucking companies that we work with were actually fairly great trucking businesses. So most of them are still working with us and there's still a lot more trucking companies that we're actively consulting and showing them exactly where the ball is being dropped. Because sometimes it's not the marketing issue, it's just a simple tweak of how long your drivers are out for on the road, right? Some trucking companies have drivers out on the road for two weeks. Maybe you just need to keep them out on a week and that will help with their traction and retention. So if you are a trucking business who wants to find qualified truck drivers and want to work closely with us, I've included the link in the description for you to reach out. We work with fleets that have one truck all the way to people and trucking businesses who run over 3,000, 1,500, 4,000 trucks. We help them all, we coach and consult them all. So the link is in the description. And if you like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you like and if there's more that you want to know about driver recruitment, how we find drivers, what are the new ways, what are the pros and cons. I will personally reply to each one of them. I'll see you in the next video.